When Elegant Themes launched Divi Dash, I didn't think it was a big deal. But yesterday, when I started playing around with it, I realized that there is some use to it. So let's dive in and let's take a look at Divi Dash from Elegant Themes. So right now, I'm logged into my members area on Elegant Themes. And you're going to notice that we have an extra entry here called Dash. So if you click on here, this is where you would get a list of all your websites that you're working on on this dashboard. So at first I was like, what's really the point? Because there are some hosting companies that have all these uh, websites listed in where you can update all your plugins and so on. So what would be the point of this? But then I realized that there are some web hosting companies that does not offer this. So this would be the best option for someone that uses Divi. Anyway, this is absolutely free, by the way. There's no extra payment for DV Dash, so you can uh, start using this right away. Here, I added a few websites. So you can see here, I have uh, these three that I've just added, and it gives us here a bit of information. DV sites, we've got two, because I really wanted to see if uh, DV Dash actually knows the difference between a website which has Divi installed and a website which does not have Divi installed. So anyway, so we can see it right here. Now, if I come over here to plugins, we also notice that there are some plugins that are needed because uh, here we can see two out of three websites. But uh, if we come over here to site updates and uh, we go into this site, we can see that Divi Dash also has a plugin. I will speak about this in a moment. There's also BitSocial Bit and BitSocial Pro. So these are the updates that are needed. So the question is, can I update my website from Divi Dash? Let's give it a try. So I'm going to click on this little drop down here and I'm going to say update all. Update. So while this uh, is updating, well, if you're designing, or let's say you have one website, maybe this may not be a tool that you may want to use because you've just got one website. If you want to update anything, we might as well just go in and update whatever you need to update while you're working on the website. So the question now is, when would you want to use Divi Dash? And um, the only quickest thing that I could think about is if you're a design agency, then Divi Dash is ideal for you because you can manage so many websites in one go. Imagine, let's say you have 20 websites that you're working on and these 20 websites have different updates. You have a plugin on this one here, a plugin on website B, a plugin on website C, and these are all different. You would need to manually go into each and every website to do these updates. But with uh, Divi Dash, well, it's simple. You can just go in and do your updates. And now while we are back here, I can see that uh, this now has updated. And I can see also there's a way to deactivate a plugin. So if you just hover over it here, you can just, just go in and deactivate it. So now that I have uh, updated uh, BitSocial, we can also go in and update BitSocial Pro. But you can see that this can be done in this dashboard. Now, the other thing as well is if you come over here, you can see all your websites just like that. Now, the question is, how do you add a new website onto Divi Dash? Well, let me show you how easy that is. If you come over here to add website, this is where now I'm now I'm using uh, ZipWP to create my website. So I'm just going to come over here and copy uh, the URL so I can show you how easy it is to go in and add it. So I would go in here, uh, paste the uh, website URL, I can paste the username and the password as well. And that is how I can add it. Now, if I want to inst auto install uh, Divi theme, I can also do it from here, which is pretty cool. Now, what I didn't know was if you wanted to add a website, there's also another way to do this. And this is by downloading the Divi Dash plugin. So let's say I wanted to add my website manually here. What you could do is you could go in and log into your website. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Divi Dash plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins and then click on add new plugin. So what's going to happen now is this is going to automatically add me to Divi Dash. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the plugin and here it is Divi Dash dot zip. I'm going to double click on that and then click install now. So the plugin now is installing. So what I would highly recommend is if you can create a blueprint whereby Divi Dash is already in the actual blueprint, this will save you a lot of time because you don't want to go in and install uh, the Divi Dash plugin every single time you um, 
set up a brand new website. I mean, that would uh, waste a lot of time. So anyway, we've got the uh, Divi Dash plugin now installed. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to settings, come all the way down here to Divi Dash. And this is where now you can just quickly go in and say, add this site to my Divi Dash. And now by doing that, it's going to ask you to log in. And then once you log in, we're going to check and see if this has been added. So you can see here, verifying. Now take a note here, the web, the site name is new Divi Dash. Okay. Uh, now I need my authentication code. I've got two factor authentication on my uh, website. So I'm just going to go to my app here to uh, to do the authentication. Here we go. And here it is. All right. So let's take a look and see if this has been added now. So remember, I started off with uh, three. Now you can see I have for websites and it's called new DV dash and just to show you that's the name of the site new DV dash so that's how you add it over here so there's also a few things that you can do here it's not just managing all, all your sites here uh, you can also go in and start adding all your all your clients so you can come over here now I did this by just experimenting to see how this would look so let's say I wanted to add another client here I would go in, add a client, their phone number, email address, and then I'll add a site. So let's say um, new DV Dash would be the site. I can just click it like that. And then over here, I would uh, add my name. So let's say uh, Creative Astro is the company name. This is what you can add here. If you want to add a phone number, you can also go ahead and do that and then click on add new. So now I have two clients, this one here with uh, Creative Astro as a company and this one here as Maketa. So now I can just pretty much have a long list of all my clients. And the really cool thing here as well is I can add some tags. So if we need to add a tag, here's how you'll do it. You first choose the website. So let's say this one here is the site I need to add the tag to. Now I can go to site settings. So this is where I can add my tag. So you can see here, I already have tutorial. So this one here could be maybe uh, WooCommerce. So this will let me know that this is a WooCommerce uh, website. So this is how I would add my tag, hit enter, and pretty much my tag now has been added. So I can go in now and clean up all my websites by adding tags to them. So I'm going to come again back to my list here. And uh, let's say I want to add a tag to this one. I can just go in like that, site settings, and now I can go in and add my tag by just coming over here. Now, if I need to go to the WordPress dashboard, I can go by coming over here to a WordPress dashboard, which is pretty cool because this opens up right away in a new tab. So I can easily now go into that specific website and start working on it. Now, you may have noticed that I did not need to go in and authenticate, which saves me a lot of time because all these websites are going to have different passwords because you don't want to keep the same password on each and every website because this is how you can easily get hacked. So it looks like there's quite a lot of uses for this, especially for design agencies. Now over here, I also have this tab uh, called permission. So this is where you can add your team. Now there's also a service called uh, DV Teams. So this is where if you had a team here, this is where you can manage it. You can come over here. Now you can see here that I don't have DV teams, but if you had, this is how you'd start adding all your team members onto. Okay. So I've taken a look at this and it looks really, really awesome. It speeds up our workflow. Everything is all centralized, but we have one problem. There's no backup option. So I would be very nervous to go in and do some plugin updates all at once because there's no backup option. I mean, I can't revert to a previous backup. So this I think is a feature which is supposed to be on top of the list because if we can't back up first before we do any updates, then we're going to be in very big trouble. So I would love to see the backup option added onto Divi Dash and this will just make this tool a really complete tool. But I like the concept. I like the idea. It is fantastic because it unifies pretty much everything that you need in a design agency or if you're working as a freelancer by adding all your teams, updating all your plugins on one place and also just managing the logins and everything all in one central place. Fantastic. Saves you a lot of time. But this backup 
is definitely, definitely needed. And I hope it's in the pipeline and they're working on it. Now, there's also another video I just done about Divi 5 Alpha. Go ahead and check it out because this is the future of Divi. That video will give you an insight to what up and coming very, very soon with Divi 5. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.